Hello everybody, welcome to game number 8 of Ultra Beasts um, against High Elves. Thankfully, well, I've got the TV advantage, a decent TV advantage this time. And, um... Oh look, isn't this much fairer? He's got plus agility on a player. And I've got... <laughs> Claw, mighty blow, mighty blow, block. I mean, I've only got five skills. So, this is almost a fair game. Wow. No, it's raining though. It's a top. That's okay, I think I might have chosen to kick anyway. The only thing is with just having 11 players. It really sucks to only have 11 players and no money to buy anyone. I'm going to hopefully save this formation and hopefully it will actually save. Maybe that's what's coming in, in, in Legendary Edition. The ability to save formations and it not be completely fucked. Wouldn't that be good? He's on five, so we need to swap him for somebody on three. Wow, Mulbrick is pretty good. So yeah, maybe Mega Gyarados. Maybe I can sweep the Elite Four just with Mega Gyarados. That, be, that sounds good. didn't die. That's pretty epic.
<laughs> Could be worse, always. <laughs> yeah, so you know. That's true, Troy. Pick up a prism scale, that's kind of cool. Single player real time mode. Thing is, Fi, I would love that. I would love that if their single player real time mode was um, like Backbreaker, like with all crazy animations and stuff. Oh, I tell you what, NFL Blitz, Blitz the League. If it was like Blitz the League, but with fucking orcs and shit, it'd be amazing. No, Mr. VIP, Mr. Yemen Dem, this is, I conceded. I conceded because I was 2 0 down. He was about to score the third. And I just thought, rather save an hour of my life and my sanity. So. No different high elves. Not not a 400 TV dis disadvantage this game. That would be really good, yeah, Morbid Orbits. Yeah, survive turn one without removals. Yeah, on, only a stun. And the rain, the rain actually cost him. Unbelievable. I can get a threat down here. Get the block. Threat downfield. I might as well um, base him because there's more dice room to roll, isn't it? You never know. With only two re rolls, making him roll dice is not a bad strategy. That would be absolutely fantastic, yeah, five. XCOM 2, yeah, yeah, XCOM 2. The XCOM 2 pool is completely amazing. I've got in, in Pokemon Sun. Holy shit, 49 pearls. <laughs> Just doing a one dicer, smooth one dicer. Absolute madman. Absolute madman. Oh, was that a misclick? It must have been. Sure. Wish I'd put more pressure on now. Oh, that, that was smart, wasn't it? Get the claw guy against the guy without um, the one guy with armor seven.
I want to take down his scoring threat first because I've not really got much on the ball, have I? That would be amazing, Adonis, though, this year, absolutely. I think I just want to cut a pub. Guy and base the ball, haven't that's all I can do really. Power here would be nice because it sets up another power, doesn't it? Oh, it still sets up another power. Oh. Yeah, we're bashing hells, what the fuck? Thing is, though, he's got Agility 5 next to the ball. Cheo. Wow. Not, not an easy touchdown for him, this is it. That was a pretty good turn, yeah, it was a pretty good turn. Knock his whole down, knock down his whole team, get a couple of stuns. Oh, both down. He's got. He's down to zero rerolls already. Glorious. Not so glorious. Two. The agility five getting in the pickup in the rain. Unbelievable. Paying for himself this game already. Yeah, get more more men's around the ball, don't Fan of the Jelly Five line, and it's true. But um, they can do a job, can't they? All right, so he can go there, and he can go there, and he can go there. go there and then that's all pretty much covered down the field isn't it Okay, so the reason, the reason that I took 
agility on my Dark Elf teams was because I was down loads of TV all the time. So an agility 5 gave me a better wizard threat. Where he's seen Elf down the centre of the field off it. Yeah, it's pretty funny, isn't it? All the dead elves. He's not even standing them up. That's good. I don't need this one actually. GFI to two die. One, two, three, four, five, six. Or double GFI to do it with um with wrestle. I guess I don't do it with rest. Let's do it with this guy. I've got. Do you mean my record or his record? My record is um, five one one. Go for the pick up here, can't you? Let people out though, that's the bad thing. Yeah, five one one. Four da chaos. Five one zero was a good record. 5-1-0 was good. It was just that last fucking stupid game that's fucked me up. I'm still confident of... I'm actually confident of qualifying with this team. As long as, I, as, long as I'm not down TV all the time. Well, Dizzy Knight, Chaos Dwarves in... In eight days. Feel bad letting him dodge out on a two plus. Oh, and that other guy's not stunned anymore. Oh yes, I should have I should have repositioned a little bit to stop him too. Absolutely being heavy. Oh, I think I just surf his uh, surf his edge guy. Don't uh, that seems probably the best the best play. Didn't say I'm gonna surf this guy. Alright, oh, good, worked. This is Sparta. A death. Did his team a favour there. You're welcome. Don't risk him dying. Yeah, sissy Sparta equals death. 
Yeah, exactly, Dizzy Knight. That's that's my problem. I, I like I like lower TV, and I and I like um. On Blood Bowl too. I, I, I don't mind high TV on Blood Bowl. I like high TV on Fun Bowl. But the problem is on Blood Bowl 2, they look like fucking rookies. So the fact that they all look like rookies and the only way you can tell who the level players are is by putting the skills over the top. That, that's the only thing that talks me playing high TV. I guess he's just gonna have to score as much as I'd love to get a touchdown on on the this warrior. I can't I can't risk four pluses. Well yes the reason is the reason is Eric Beheimer because it gives an element of progression and it's to stop people cheating. And it's what's manageable in a tabletop environment. That that that's that's the absolute reasons, no doubt about it. I'm sure if you know, you could make a much better much better format on on cyanide. Blood Bowl 2. <laughs> because Cephas K and P. If sometimes, you know, people had tournaments where you you had star player points. You had star player points. So, so you know, you just have someone say, oh, look, I made three cars. They were all on the same player. Now I've got, now I've got a guy. What did I, um, what did I roll for him? Oh, I rolled a double six. He's got plus strength. I had a league, I had a league, right? I ran a league where he was he was he was a not a new player, right? He was he was a veteran and he started off with he didn't have any numbers on his players and he was playing against got he was playing against an ogre team and he made three cars with with players without numbers and then he's like, "Oh yeah, they were all on the same guy." Fuck off, mate. Fucking cheating piece of shit. And um, so yeah, you know, so people like that. And so if if you're running a tournament, and and it's only it was only recently that they gave you those six at the start. They started off by just going, um, you know, after the first game you get a skill, and after the second game you get another skill, and after the third game you get another skill. That's how, that's how it started, and then that it gave you like the idea of you progressed as you would in an actual tabletop league. You know, getting a skill after every game. So, that, so that, that's what it is. It's not. It's not because the game's better at that level at all. It, it's. It's what. It's. It's the limitations and of of the format, basically, of like it actually being tabletop. Thing is, though, you, you say that, Shawnee, but then fifteen hundred ish. There's, there's still plenty of bullshit depending on what happens. So, like, you know, um. You can say that, but then 1500 is enough for, for Skaven to have one turners and Claw Palm. And it's enough for Chaos to have Claw Palm and for Chaos Dwarves to have Claw Palm and stuff. Yeah, Lord if is any team just getting based and losing is, it sucks. Um, do I GFI to hit him? Of course I do. I mean, I don't know, it depends. It, 1500 ish, yeah. But it certainly doesn't stop bullshit happening, does it? 1500. You can get, you can get pretty fucking broken things for 1500. Um, but yeah, I guess. Obviously, the more 
the more TV, the lower TV you get, the more random it is, and then the higher TV, the more busted shit you get. So it's not. It's be a hard thing to, hard thing to say. But definitely, definitely seeing as cyanide is not limited by people playing, you know, playing games with like models. You know, it gets really hard to keep track of a 1700 TV team in tabletop. Really hard, and it'd be so much more opportunity for people to cheat as well. Um, you know, like saying they've got different skills and what have you. So you can absolutely get banged by dice. Of course you can. Shane. Of course you can. You can get ridiculously broken teams for fifteen hundred. You really can. But um, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's a, that's that's the, that's the better way of looking at it from Notorious Noob. Yeah. Yeah, that's a better thing. Better way of saying. So, um, you can get loads of broken shit for fifteen hundred. Let's be honest. But um, it's yeah, I think it's better than a thousand or eleven hundred with six skills. You could have something like twelve fifty, twelve fifty for the team and twelve skills, something like that. Two doubles, ten normals, stack up to three skills, something like that. Yeah, exactly, try. But I mean, but I'm just saying, saying that it doesn't happen. It does happen. 1500, doesn't it? Right, let's get the wrestle back in case things go wrong. Now he's offering up his um he's offering up his blitzes as sacrifices. Interesting strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off. Dice tower, yeah. Yeah, exactly, Steel Rat. That's the thing. 1500 is perfect for perfect for Skaven, isn't it? Now, look, look what a ridiculous 1500 Lizardman team you could make. So it's just like... I don't know, I think... You can't you can't just say like this TV's the best. That's the thing. That that that's all I'm saying. I don't think you can say this that like you know whatever whatever TV is just the best. Wow! Look that third dice, stopping the turnover, getting the knockdown. Unbelievable, Jeff. This is a push to I want the follow-up block. Or do I just push him and follow and then move this guy back? I guess move this guy back. Wasn't no, it was this 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 guy, Claw Mighty Blow, had three dice. Yeah, yeah. I blitz with this guy who had block for the safe, the safe two dice blitz, and then into the kind of safe three dice. Right, so I guess I don't follow here, push him in here if it's a power, if it's a push, get another one. So I think go for the pickup now because there's men around, isn't there? I want to be able to re roll the pickup. Got it. Nah, go 
health down. <laughs> oh, KO'd, fuck. Maybe I should have um, made that block with a beastman in case of the one in nine. That might have been the play. That's um, for tabletop Jake Snake Eyes. I doubt it will come to um, Cyanide Blood Bowl 2. But um, yes, that is. I think it's probably a good thing. Overall. Yeah, minus movement is okay. And minus agility is okay for Skaven Linos, isn't it? Making the foul. Should have been sent off for that terrible foul. For tabletop, they're basically making it um, unplayable. I don't want to blitz him to get him up, but then I want to. I just want to block with my mighty blow guy. Not having, not having um, dodge is really terrible, isn't it? Really, really terrible for the uh, for those guys. High elf catches. No, he doesn't have a bribe. Yeah, I think it's safe to say High Elves are the worst elf team. Though we don't have a million games to prove it for Dord. Um, I think it's safe to say High Elves are the worst elf team. There is just the dream, yeah. The dream of the of the catchers. Never, they never come to fruition.
I mean, four war dancers with dark elf linemen is would be a fucking unbelievable team, wouldn't it? It would be absolutely fucking unbelievable. But it, that's the thing; it just doesn't happen. Doesn't happen in real life. Probably happens in ranked. I, I thought about doing it in ranked a few times. I can get skills on this guy by blitzing them with by blitzing him, hopefully. Right, so get a few guys on him. Both down and no balls. Let's go for it. Mm. Nix. Oh yeah, pe people people get some crazy players on fumble. You know, they have like a strength four, agility five, wrestle, dodge, leap, catches, which are pretty fucking good, aren't they? Came in time for the one in nine. It rhymes. Right. Let's keep the ball safe. Sweet three dice. I know he's not really it's not really that good to make an agility five dodge, but he still he still can still roll ones, he's got no dodge, has he? Five one one at the moment, Sean. Four four eight nine eight. Um unfortunately had to concede the last game. Due to the guy taking a million years to take his turns and getting lucky. <laughs> It was a gross game. It was an absolutely gross game that I lost. I mean, it was lost. Although I conceded, I'd lost before I conceded. It was just to save time. Gotta move him here just because I've I've put all my eggs into one basket here a little bit. I can't cage where I want to cage until I do this three dice blitz. But in in Fash's interest, completing the cage there. Oh wow, that's good fish for fat. <laughs> Every cloud has a silver line in there. I'm sure he won't be as unlucky as I was though. One, two, three, four, five. I could go in here actually. 
And get even further forward. That's alright, isn't it? This in insanity cage here. I guess I should put two on him to make it harder for him to just block him. Ah. Yeah, small level isn't just two dice, this lad. Yeah, exactly. I mean to get to get five one zero and the well five and oh one end up thinking the first five games were all wins, which is obviously amazing. And then Yeah, I would have loved to have just beaten him as much as I should have beaten him by. I would I wouldn't have minded if I wasn't losing against him as much. I would have still minded it obviously. But I wouldn't have minded it as much, certainly. I was just ruffle stomping him. <laughs> Leaving the ball open with this blitz. Ripe for a 181. No? Unbelievable, Jeff. Savage Orcs. 11 out of 10 excited for Savage Orcs. Absolutely. Should I go for the handoff? <sighs> Not really, because... It's in the fucking rain. Yeah, mostly KOs. Hardly any, hardly any star player points, in fact. Bracket the Agility 5 guy, that wasn't not my finest moment there. No, just handing it off, I was talking about Javil. Just handing it off would have been alright, but I can't even try that in the fucking rain. I mean, the game is won, so... Could have handed it off to him to be a touchdown away from levelling again. Or him, then he's one Kaz away. I would like it on this, on this guy. Is it this guy? He's on two. This guy would have been good to go to 14. Go for the GF5 first to make it three dice. Just because it goes into another block. I mean, I guess I've definitely won. And the thing is, I mean, that does get him a level, which is all right. So I can't really complain about getting a level on the Beastman. I think I'll just take the guaranteed level rather than points on a guy. Oh, I've gone into range of this guy now, shit. Right up. 
Oh, and then stop him. Ah, well, there's no two zone anyway. Oh man, if he gets the if he gets the ball blitz after I foolishly went into after I foolishly went into range, that'd really be bad. Actually, thought about it last turn as well. I pathed out how far he could get and made sure I was safe, and then just moved into fucking two range. Unbelievable. Deserve to deserve to draw that game. I did. Pretty easy with this many KOs, wasn't it? Not much to say about the game, really. When you make six KOs, you should fucking win, shouldn't you? That's pretty much. Not many men up, it was just easy, wasn't it? Actually, actually outbashed elves. And it was glorious. And now he's gonna concede. Okay. What a strange chap. He's back. Shame, I'd have liked the extra MVP <laughs> for free then. Would have been much better to get the touchdowns on Warriors, wouldn't it? Could have double leveled that. What? Could have double TD that guy and leveled him. That would have been amazing. He hasn't got many men. <laughs> Wasn't really worth me protecting the players that I had, was it? With him having this many men. Shoney, are, are you going to mention in the in the official forums that saying how come how come Lupak got um, got his concession uh, loss negated in the World Cup? So how come you don't? How come there's one rule for one streamer and a different rules for a different streamer? You should do that. Let's see what happens. All right, that was a pretty good result, wasn't it? Pretty fucking good. Even though it was only KOs. Two for winnings, one. Brilliant. <laughs> God. 11 of him is pretty cool. You might get a second one. 14 AV breaks is obviously pretty decent in 34 blocks. And 7 KOs is outstanding for winning the game. But really need to develop this team more. 
Oh, double. He can go dodge and he can be the carrier then. Even though he's not on the most SPPs, he can just get blocks, show sure hands, and uh, do a job. While everyone else, there's at least they've got some star player points. The one who, the ones who've survived, have some star player points. But I don't like this star player point distribution. I'd much rather have them on the warriors, get some leveled warriors up. But never mind. Um, right. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.